Okay, now for question number seven. Question number seven from the paper to February, March 2020, um, IGCSE Cambridge paper. Now, question number seven it shows us a right angle triangle, and we're asked to find the area of this right angle triangle. Now, that's pretty simple. As it's a right angle triangle, remember the area of a triangle is equal to a half times the base times the vertical height. Now, this is the vertical height of the triangle. So it's simply going to be a half times the base, which is 10.8, times the vertical height, which is 8.5. And there we get the area of the triangle. We could even think of this as this being the height and that being the base. As long as they are perpendicular to each other, that's perfectly fine. So we're going to take a half, which is 0 0.5, multiplied by 10.8, uh, multiplied by 8.5. And that gives you, just make sure we've written everything correctly in the calculator. Always do that because easy, it's very easy to, to press the wrong button. And you get 459 over 10, which is going to give you 45.9. So you have 45.9 centimeters squared. That's an exact answer. It's exactly, you know, stops there, so that's fine. And there we have the answer to part A. Now part B says calculate the perimeter. Now the perimeter of a triangle or of any shape is the length of the outline. So for us to find the perimeter, we need to find this side, which I'm going to call X. Okay, so in order to find X, what we can do is, um, we can realize that a right angle triangle is something where the sides have a particular link to each other, which we should know, and it's called Pythagoras's theorem, which, which t states that all the, the 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 shorter sides and the hypotenuse are linked together by the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides. So I know that x squared is equal to 8.5 squared plus 10.8 squared. Okay, so the hypotenuse, the square of the hypotenuse is the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides. So x is the square root of 8.5 squared plus 10.8 squared. So let's stick that in the calculator. We're going to have the square root of 8.5 squared. Whoops. Yeah. Plus 10.8 squared, all under the square root sign. That gives us 13.743. So I'm going to write this to like, you know, three, four decimal places so that I can then um, the, round my final answer. So x equals 13.7437, I'll write. So x equals 13.7437, dot, dot, dot. So therefore, the perimeter is equal to the sum of these three sides, which is going to be 8.5 plus 10.8 plus x, which is that. And that gives us... So we'll keep this answer and we'll add, let's put that as a 10.8. Okay, so we have the answer plus 10.8. Whoops, so we have to be careful. 0 0.8 plus 8.5, 8.5. And that gives you your perimeter, which is 33.0437. So you've got perimeter is equal to 33 was it sorry 33.0437 33.0437 now answers which are not exact must be rounded to three significant figures in general so this is just a length so it's 33.0 you should write the zero to show that it's a rounded answer don't say oh the zero doesn't make any difference to the 33 it makes a difference in showing that this answer has been rounded so even if the number that you round to ends up being a zero you must round it to that particular place value even if it says zero you must write the zero there okay so there's the answer to part what happened there everything moved down no problem okay there's the answer to part b okay i think everything moved up there no problem okay so there's the answer to part b and that's pretty simple now what i want you to do if you want to see 
I'll talk to you like students at class now. <laughs> if you want to see the rest of the paper, then click on this uh, playlist over here. It will take you to the rest of this paper. You want to see questions about this topic of, I guess, area, perimeter, mensuration. Click on this over here. You want to see the paper for uh, you know solutions. Click on this card over here. You want to subscribe. Click on this icon over here. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.